Drekstar Blood Twin. He is a champion that you get free to play. I think you get him from doing 3v3. You accumulate your golden bars and you can buy fragments for him. I think. It's been a while since I got him. The way you see him right now is in a nuking build. I have two builds for you today. One where he's built like a nuker and two where he is built in a general utility setup. If you take a look at his multiplier for his A2, they kind of stand out. It's a 5.2 on his defense. And just for reference, Harima, who is also a defense-based nuker, has a 3.3 on her defense, as well as a 3.9 on her defense. So he's got a 3-hitter on his A1, a chance to place HP burn, as well as healing if the target is under HP burns. His A2 is an AoE with a chance to place Provoke that significantly goes up to 100% if the target is under HP burn, as well as a chance to place Decrease Attack if the Provoke is placed. But Drekstar's calling card has to be his passive, where when somebody attacks him, he has a chance to place HP burn. Now, I don't actually see this part of his passive talked about too much, but he also increases his res by 10 for every enemy under HP burn. As I'm reading it, I guess I understand why it's not too talked about, because it doesn't really help anything he also has a fat aura 70 points of accuracy i have brimstone on him but i also think especially if you're going to use him in arena incineration and crushing rend will be helpful these are the nuke build masteries we're going down the offense tree to take helm smasher to get that extra ignore damage as well as the defense tree to take some damage mitigation as well as counter attack if you are a newer player, you may want to skip to the later half of this video because this first part is more for entertainment purposes. I don't think you're going to have a lot of lethal, savage, instinct, or cruel gear early on. And I'm expecting that if you're watching this, you're probably in the beginning to mid game because if you're in the later or end game, you're probably not using Drekstar anymore. Time codes down below. If you do want to build him as a nuker, the stats you're going to be looking for are going to be defense, so around 5k defense, speed, 200 plus, but I usually go for 220, but this is what I could get with the current gear that I have without ripping gear off other champions. You want him crit capped, meaning at 100%, as well as 250 plus crit damage. So with my nukers, attack or defense based nukers, I usually go 5k attack or defense and 250 crit damage. Obviously the more the merrier. I just had to show Drekstar in arena. And one of the things that I like doing with Drekstar is pairing him with Tormund. And I show a little bit more of this in my Tormund video, but basically pairing Tormund with Drekstar is a good idea because Drekstar passively will place HP burns, which will also passively proc Tormund to use his A1. And so there's one of his nukes. Yeah, his I don't know who that mythic was, but he died. And Sun Wukong died, but he'll be back. And obviously she's going to bring everybody back. Let's do this. And we'll place some heals here. Let's take care of Duchess. Let's get rid of... Whoever this mythical champion is. This freezes. Get rid of Rodos. And I think it's pretty much there. Oh, he morphs into something. Oh, but he got frozen. And yeah, okay. It's kind of hard to showcase the, the Tormund and Drekstar combo in Arena. At the very least, you guys saw that Drekstar did put in work in terms of the nuke. I think his plus four Rotos would have died if Rotos wasn't Rotos and didn't have Spur and Oblivion as his passive. This time around, for the most part, we're worrying only about Trenda. He's got a lot of support on his team, though. So we'll see how this goes. Let's place everything on cooldown. We did not place Trenda on cooldown. That's crazy. Higher resist Trenda. Alright, let's see how much this nuke does. Not much. That wasn't a lot. So, let's try to place... Push her back. And we're gonna hit cardio. And we're gonna rip at... Trenda. Let's 
place some heals on everybody. And let's do this to Siffy. Let's try to take Cardio down. That's eight, six, nine. Let's hit Duchess. Push Trenda back. And let's hit Trenda. 8, 11, 11. So let's get rid of Cardio. And then hit Trenda again. And we're going to place their skills on cooldown, reset ours, put the heals up. And let's hit the A2, doing 22 weak hit on Duchess. It's A3 Duchess. And rip it, Siffy. Obviously, Drekstar won't compare to somebody like Rodos or Sun Wukong or Taurus. But early on, I think if you don't have a nuker and you can afford to build him as a nuker, or you're looking for somebody fun to play with, you might do it. Let's do a damage check for Drekstar. We have the decreased defense and the weekend. We have increased defense on Drekstar. Let's check this A2. 179, 163. Saw some decent numbers there. We didn't have the decreased defense and weekend though. 32, 33, 34. And we place the HP burn there. He can do damage. You do need to properly set him up though. He's obviously not going to be a, a Taurus or Harima. I feel as if though this general support utility build is going to be more so relatable to the majority of you. I purposely in the optimizer put a cap on all of these stats here. The defense is going to be at 3000. The speed is going to be at 200. The accuracy is going to be at 300. What you're looking for in this build is going to be HP and defense to survive, accuracy so he can land his HP burns. More than likely, you're going to be using a support Drekstar in the dungeons or in clan boss. But if you have the gear and you're able to make the stats work, go for even more HP, even more defense, as well as more accuracy. And then obviously go for more speed if you can. I'm purposely not putting on fully leveled equipment as well as leaving these two pieces of gear off. Don't blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. Going down the offense tree, we're going to be taking Giant Slayer because you get bonus damage based on multiple hits. So the general rule is if you have a champion that has one or two hits, you're going to want to go with War Master because the chance to proc extra damage is based off of only one occurrence where Giant Slayer will occur on each hit of a skill. So three, four, five hits, you want Giant Slayer. Then we're going to go down the support tree to take more accuracy, as well as Sniper to increase the chances of placing the HP burn, as well as Master Hexer to extend said burns. He can use his burns to melt away at the Ice Golem, only activating the Frigid Vengeance once. And then here, HP burn is another good way to defeat the dragon. Does the same thing in Fire Knight, and also helps out because he's got a 3 hitter on his A1, so it helps to bring down the counter on the shield here. In Spider, HP burns are going to be quite useful, because as I've said before when one enemy has an HP burn and they receive that damage the entire team including the mother spider is going to receive HP burns what you can do is you can have everybody except for Drekstar be stronger meaning have more HP and defense be a equal to or stronger affinity which everybody pretty much is except for Timmet here but Timmet is built a lot tankier than Drekstar is. And you can even keep Drekstar in the first position, but that's not too important. But the Spiderlings will target Drekstar, especially when he places the Provoke up. So that's a, a decent spider team that you could build, which will also work on stage 24 because he is of negative affinity. Aside from his reliable HP burns on the Hydra heads, going up against the Head of Blight, he's going to do very well. This head receives double damage from HP burn debuffs. The head also places Poison Clouds. But if the Hydra heads have HP burns on them, the Poison Clouds will not have any effect and you're not going to weak hit. He's pretty fire, but you want to know who else is a free LEGO champion who is absolutely spectacular? Mithrala. Go ahead and check this video out.
It'll do wonders for your account, especially if you're in the early to mid game progression phase. In the end game, I personally don't use them anymore, but I remember early on I used them.